for Turner Prize, she has four very distinct works or parts of a series of works. So behind me is the, uh, in a way, very famous uh, Fashionable Marriage, uh, which was made in 86, which is based on Hogarth's Mariage à la Mode and the whole idea of sort of the caricature or the folly of court life in 18th century and then translated to the, to the 80s and uh, Lubaina's kind of response where the idea is that the servants in Hogarth's painting as sort of black servants are now in Lubaina's work sort of elevated to being very creative people in their own right, whereas the other people like the king become sort of Reagan and Thatcher are just like ridiculous buffoons follying out and it's set on a stage and it's very kind of in a way pictorial it's like a painting a three-dimensional it's like a sort of relief of a painting. Lubain has studied stage design so she's incredibly interested in very sort of straightforward communication and in a way this has a sort of perfunctory almost rough touch it's like I, it has to do its job and that's that. And then behind me, uh, a series of pages, which is part of a major series she works on, taking pages from The Guardian, in which photographs of black sportswomen and men, or businessmen or women, are actually, the photographs are kind of unwittingly or unconsciously, perhaps placed with a level of caricature as well in The Guardian. So in a way, Lobain is sort of reclaiming the surface by painting across the surface, using graphic tactics and beautiful patterns to in a way retell the story using the relationship between image and headline. This way is a part of the sort of the Lancaster dinner service that is really part of really 80 pieces, this is only uh, uh, 46 of, uh, where again this relationship to something that already exists rather like the Guardian pages but this sort of crockery or china or ceramic which exists in the world is then with its whole history, for instance, a Greek key pattern of the whole history of the colonial relationship between design and so on, and, and have been found by Lubaina in and collected from charity shops and stalls and so on, and painted on in a way, again, telling a different story or telling a, the story of slavery or the abolition of the slave trade. So there's kind of people being shocked by it, there's relationships to a santi cloth, to pattern, to... So it's this kind of bringing together of different kind of graphic and cultural traditions and designs. And then, the last piece is, uh, the most recent by far, is one of a series of paintings. And this has an amazing air of kind of stillness and mystery about it. So there is a narrative, there is a story, but it also is functioning in the way that painting can. So it carries time in it, or time held still. And she painted it trying to imagine how it would be at the moment before or after people are in real life on a slave ship were struck blind. And so she has this kind of way of making, filling the space, and the sea is constantly raging. There's a lot of threat, and there's a lot of stillness to it, and danger. Working as a curator with Lubaina has been amazing. Um, what I think is very distinct is that, you know, you have different roles with different artists. And in her case, she's very, very clear about what she wants her work to do and say, and the best way to say it. So, in a way, the display or the presentation is very much her decision. One can discuss it, but in a way, she knows that these elements need to be shown to the best. And she also has been doing this for some time so she knows how things will work for the public, what will and what won't work in many ways. So it's been fascinating because I've learned a lot. I think that the students in Preston must feel immensely proud of her, but she also is so successful in so many ways at the moment. She's just having the most amazing time with exhibitions all over the world. I can't talk about how it's going to affect things in Preston, but uh, I know that, you know, we're in a very strange world where things are very specific to place, and it's amazingly important to work in one place and produce work in one place, but also there is a kind of general discussion with social media and so on. So things are kind of, at one level, more open, another level still need to be very specific.